Marston, sir, it's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say it. Both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. This is it. <laughs> Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I have to say, <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with. A bear! Whoa, Shoot there. it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? That's mine. My God, that was terrifying. And I say we leave before oh. any of its friends turn up. I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. Here we are. They certainly brought a lot of fellows with them. Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... But, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, Dutch! 
Professor, get down now! They killed the star! It's a nightmare! Do something quick! Stay down and keep quiet! I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. see any more of them. Come on, Professor. Let's get you back to Blackwater. I'd appreciate it if you would, Mr. Marston. I'm a shadow of my former self. Sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there.
That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You ain't no meter that I've seen before. Nobody shoots until I say. Don't shoot! That man is a hostage! They shot him dead! They're coming out! Gun them Let's down! Take out those snipers in the window! Maybe some innocent people there. We can take them! Come on, let's get in there! Marston, shoot the door open! Nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. 
Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Holy shit! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long! Next time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough! Come on, let's find the bastard! Mount up! We went this way! Yeah, Abraham! Yeah! Yeah! Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? But now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellas, anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastards can't ever give a straight answer, can you? There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot!
Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> uh.